Today, Kevin and I are gonna try two new to us chips. These have been around for a long time, I think. We just have never tried them. They are the Cape Cod, uh, or mine are kettle, kettle, cooked. Kettle, cooked. kettle cooked. Kettle cooked, I have just the regular potato chips. And I have sea salt and vinegar, which I like sea salt and vinegar. These were $3.29 a bag at Target. Cool. Um, the Berkshire Bacon Lover um, suggested that we try these. Um, he is in Massachusetts, and that's where these are made, in Massachusetts. They are made um, in Hyannis, 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 Hyannis. I don't know, Massachusetts, that's where they're made. Okay, let's try the regular ones first. Oh, both of these are all natural ingredients, gluten-free, no preservatives, 100% canola oil. As a matter of fact, the only ingredients that is in this bag Potatoes, canola oil, and salt. That's it. Just three ingredients. Mine has vinegar powder and a few other things. But yeah, to it. make it the sea yeah. salt vinegar. Okay, um, one ounce or about 19 chips are 140 calories. Um, it said they are hand-selected potatoes, canola oil, salt. Uh, da, 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 select potatoes sliced thick and cooked mm -hmm. in custom kettles at precisely the right temperature to a golden amber hue. No two, no two chips are identical, but they all share a hearty potato flavor and that wonderful Cape Cod crust. So, definitely eat your part. they smell good. They remind me, uh, I haven't had a Mike Sells potato chip for a long time, but they that smell reminds me. Because, of course, I have to get the fold over. Somebody told me they call these fold overs. Mm, those are good. Oh, these wow. may be kettle chip cooked, but they're not really hard like most of the kettle cooked I've had. Those are really good. Mm -hmm. Those are good. That's a very good potato chip. Like, I love my kettle brand chips, the maple bacon especially. Mm -hmm. They're kettle cooked chips, but they're hard. Mm -hmm. They're a hard chip, and they actually, if you eat a lot of them, they'll hurt your mouth. Mm -hmm. That's how hard they are. These aren't like that. These you don't be, think things are as hard as those? I don't believe so. Let me get one that's folded over. I haven't had one of the kettle brand um, in a while to mm -hmm. remember. Those aren't as hard. I mean, they're harder than uh, like a Lay's, but, but they're not. From what I remember of Mike Sells, this reminds me of that brand. It might be. I haven't had Mike Sells in ages. That's a very good potato chip. How for this? For only three ingredients, that's crazy that that has that much fiber. Uh, 19 chips are 140. I have 18 chips. It's, it's one ounce. One ounce. Yours is one. So one ounce is, is 140 calories. So that's the same. I don't know if you want to stick your nose in that one or not. Oh, because it's vinegar. <laughs> you can go ahead and, they go ahead and had, stick your nose in there. They had waffle cut uh, chips as well, but we wanted to get two different varieties. Can you smell? They're very good. That's actually good. Mm -hmm. They have a good, strong vinegar flavor. Mm -hmm. Those have a flavor. I didn't expect to like that as much. I those know what have, I think it smells like. Those have a like. vinegar flavor, like a malt vinegar, like you put on fish at like Captain D's or Long on Silver's. Mm -hmm. That malt vinegar flavor, that's what they remind me of. It reminds me of... Um, I like those a lot. It reminds me of when I um, slice a, a cucumber and cut it up and I put it in a bowl of water and, and put some vinegar in the water mm. and you just eat them like that, slices. It reminds me of that vinegar water. Um, it's really good. Those are really good. I like those too. If you don't like vinegar, you wouldn't like them, but they are good. Yeah, if you ha would have to like vinegar, uh, but I don't think they're really, really, really strong to to like put you off of them. Right. Or anything. No, they're really good. So uh, would would you get this brand again? I would get both those brands. Yeah, again. I would really too. Good. I'm sure they make. I mean, I'm just making a big assumption here. But I'm assuming they make barbecue and everything. I yeah, don't they don't mention any of the other flavors on here. Yeah, I don't know what other flavors they make. Uh, but we did not see barbecue. Just the cut. It no, wouldn't no, surprise me if they didn't make them. Now that um, now that we know they're out there, we'll probably be looking for them all over the place. Mm -hmm. Today we were just at Tar Target and Meyer, and so we just picked them up while we were at Target. So we'll probably see them. And I think they have them at Whole Foods too. 
Oh yeah, they did have. Mm-hmm. We were in Whole Foods, but, but that, they didn't. But we had different. already bought these. And they didn't yeah. have anything different either. Yeah. Same thing. So yeah, so we had already gotten these. So anyway, thank you very much, mm-hmm. uh, really Sir Bacon, for uh, letting these us know that these are out there. They're very very good. I don't know why we had just, you know, usually buy what you've grown up on. Mm-hmm. I think. And it's uh, usually you don't sway from that. If it's a good chip, you just don't sway from it. And um, normally we can get like Lay's potato chips on sale two for five. So these would be pricier than a Lay's potato yeah. chip. Um, but I do like them. If you're comparing them to that Kettle brand, that higher quality chip, uh, which I think they are, uh, then I think they uh, they deserve that three twenty nine price. I can really understand good. that. So uh, hopefully everyone else enjoyed getting to see them and uh, hear about them. And if you have them in your area and if you've never tried them, then I would uh, for sure pick up a bag. So thanks for watching.